Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here. Sunday the 3rd of November. Time's marching on, so uh, we'll try and get another few jobs done on the A70 Lightning today. So in the last episode, we got the timing cases on. The inner cover is on permanently, but the outer cover isn't. We just uh, did a placement fit on that, but also uh, that enabled us to put the uh, the remaining screws through to secure the inner case just uh, until the gasket cement cured which it's done now so we will take that timing cover outer case back off because we need to fit the kickstart return spring and also the auto advance unit and the, uh, the points for the timing you can see I've been uh, spending money because we've got a new uh, a new gear lever there which has been test fitted that's fine and I've got a new kickstart on the way. Uh, neither of those uh, came with the bike, but I would imagine that if they did, they'd have been in, in a hell of a state. Uh, the splines on the uh, gear lever shaft are fine, as is the groove in the kickstart shaft for the cotter. They're good. Um, so what we're going to do today is, to, first of all, just take that out of timing case off in preparation for the next job but we're going to move over to the primary case side and uh, move the bike over and we'll fit the final drive sprocket and the primary chain case in a cover that goes over that at the same time though we'll, uh, we'll fit the rear chain if we can and we can also put the chain guard on and uh, with respect to the rear chain I've got a new chain, let's go over there here to the bench, I've got a new chain, uh, 110 pitches, 5 8 3 8. Um, you can see the gas stove is out because I'm going to give uh, that chain a treatment of uh, link life. So we'll get the, uh, the link life warming up with the chain on top and then we'll go over to the bike and we'll get that outer timing cover off and move it across and we'll be then uh, ready to do some work on the primary case side. Okay that's the link life on a on a low heat on the gas and you can just see the uh, see it melting and the chain beginning to sink in it and I've got uh, a wire set up in the end link of that chain so we can pull it out and hang it up to let it drain while it cools off and that's why I've got this in position on the floor here because above us um, I've got something on which I can uh, hang this uh, but it will leave it in there for uh, not very long really just uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so just to make sure that the link life is um, fluid nice and hot and fluid and getting into uh, all the links in the chain and then we'll turn off the gas and take it out. Right, uh, chain cooked and uh, hanging up, just uh, cooling down now, giving it a wipe down and that'll be ready to, uh, to fit. But just before I move the uh, bike across, uh, now we've got the uh, outer cover off, I just thought I'd uh, fit the kickstart return spring because I have got a new uh, spring plate which uh, which arrived recently however when trying to uh, fit this with the original spring it broke so that's another thing uh, to order up so we'll leave that side for now and we'll get the bike over and uh, begin on the primary drive okay here we are at the primary drive side so there you can see the uh, the main shaft and on the gearbox side we've got the new uh, wheel seal fitted a while ago. So all we've got to do first is push the uh, sprocket onto that oil seal and we'll get the tab washer and the nut loosely on and then we'll, uh, we'll fit the chain and that then will allow us to uh, 
have something to purchase on when we tighten up the, uh, the sprocket nut. You can see what a tight fit that 21 tooth sprocket is um, to, to get through onto the shaft from this side, hence all the uh, small grooves cut out of the uh, primary case to allow the teeth to go through. So hopefully um, I'm just going to put something on here that we can just tap. I'm going to need two hands for this so let me do this uh, and I'll bring you back. Okay the sprocket went on with uh, just some taps from uh, the rubber mallet to get it uh, seated into the oil seal on its shoulder on the other side. I've now got the new tab washer and then the uh, the original nut on there which as you can see is, uh, has led a pretty hard life but it's okay. I do have a brand new one but I think this one's alright. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll fit the chain um, so as I say that will give us something to uh, to provide a bit of purchase when we begin to uh, tighten up this knot and we'll need to check the uh, torque settings of this as well. Okay, sprocket on and chain has been fed through. Got a slight problem though. So this is a 110 pitch chain as per the parts book including the uh, split link but as you can see we're nowhere near and um, that wheel is absolutely as far forward as we can get. Um, there's a bit of slack in the chain there but I just can't get it tight enough to even go um, a further tooth on the on the sprocket. So I need some, to do some investigation there. Um, all's not lost because um, I do have the tools to actually uh, be able to extend this chain um, so it's not a write-off. We just need some uh, some additional spare links that we can plumb in properly. Um, not split links, but proper links. Uh, so what I'll do now is probably just uh, go back up the top end here. And we've still got the sprocket black back plate to fit, which uh, goes behind, behind there. And we'll need to attack that from the, the other side. Um, that's the part in question that goes the other side of the sprocket and the chain and you just tell them by uh, by three screws so that's easy enough so we'll try and get that fitted now right so we've got the chain to sort out we've also got to do a bit more uh, jiggery pokery around the chain guard because uh, at the moment to me it looks too long and it's um, going to foul the motor, but uh, I do just need to do a bit more um, manipulation of the rear mud guard, I think, to uh, allow the, the chain guard to to move inward slightly at the front. So all not lost on that front yet. Um, and also just a quick test fit on the uh, inner cover to uh, check the... Uh, the oil seal uh, fitment and that's fine. Um, so we have made a bit of progress on this side, uh, not as much as we wanted, but uh, onwards, two steps forward, one, one back, but we'll uh, plough on. So what I'll do first is uh, do a bit of research on that um, chain side of it. It obviously needs some links which, which I can get. And um, We'll leave it uh, there for now. Um, what we'll also do in the meantime is uh, have another think about that chain guard. And uh, when we come back for the next episode, we'll uh, remove that foot peg and the rear brake pedal, which was just a temporary fit there. Um, so we can then think about getting the, uh, the clutch and the primary drive uh, crankshaft sprockets on with the chain and then we'll, uh, we'll actually see some uh, some progress. So, um, sorry I'm uh, dithering and trying to think on the fly here but uh, thanks very much for 
for watching everybody. Uh, not too exciting an episode, but we got some bits and pieces done. And I'll see you again soon in the next episode. Thanks for any uh, interest, subscriptions, comments, etc. See you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.